Bowman here from BW1, and we're gonna do an unboxing and setup of the Samsung Galaxy Gear. Smartwatches are about to be the new craze coming into the fall of 2013, and probably gonna see a lot of these popping up at CES 2014. So this is the Galaxy Gear that sort of got announced with the Galaxy Note and pairs with the Galaxy Note to give you this sort of one-two combination of a smartwatch and powerful smartphone. So we're gonna do an unboxing, and we're gonna do a setup and see what this smartphone craze is all about or give you a little more insight and in what smartwatches are all about here so this is our unboxing and setup of the samsung galaxy gear all right guys we're gonna do an unboxing and setup here with the galaxy here doing a little bit different camera angle here and we're actually doing a different way sort of how i'm going to present it to you here so just testing some different things out so we're going to set up the galaxy gear and we're going to pair it here with a galaxy note 3 as well too to really get the full setup going so it's so all right let's start off here by uh unboxing so we pop out here and at t was nice enough to send us along so they did do a little bit of pre-unboxing to get things kind of set up for us here but we're gonna take a look at it here and it's not gonna be the freshest unboxing but you can see how nice uh interesting the galaxy gear 3 i mean sorry galaxy gear 3 galaxy gear it looks like there'll probably be a galaxy gear 3 if this thing sort of gets really really popular set that there to the side uh get our galaxy note over here ready Let's see what else we have inside the box we have the charging dock here which we're gonna need which is a uh, looks like a faux leather dock that you have with a little back here on it and a micro USB port there as well too yeah, let's turn it this way here if I have an upside down with the Samsung logo let's see what else we have looks like this is the charger it's a micro USB charger interesting uh, not the typical Samsung charger you would usually expect uh, and um, a little bit different design, but there you go. It's not removable either. It's just a standard wall charger. All right. Let's see what we have in here. Let's see what we have. That's about it. Let's see what we have also the quick reference manual, guides and instructions and such. But um, what's the, besides that, what's noticeable here is that this shares, unlike the at and t unboxing of the Galaxy Note 3, this shares the design as far as the boxing is concerned with the rest of the samsung galaxy products so it's pretty nice to see that i i do prefer samsung's look here let's go ahead and uh move this over to the side get our galaxy note and gear and our gear here in focus let's go ahead and move that plastic let's see what we have here all right if we can get it off properly there we go peels off like that and what you see here I believe is a 1.6 inch display it's a, a super AMOLED display I believe so I'll just double check here on the box but it is a super AMOLED display on here 1.6 you do also have a little bit of a piece of plastic here over the camera which is a 2 megapixel or rather 1.9 megapixel autofocus camera here and the plastic is being a pain at me right now so I'll have to get that off of probably a little bit later the fight with this and so small and I have big fingers and hands see the metal buckle right here at the bottom uh, with it here and uh, so that's how it's gonna sort of snap on when I snap it on here and you do have the back here with the little charging pins you can see where you're gonna connect to charge here it does come with an 800 megahertz processor inside of it also has uh, 512 megabytes of uh, RAM and I believe 4 gigs of storage inside of it as well too all right, let's go ahead and power this up since we've been waiting so long here. And let's go ahead and also show you how this boots up here. We can watch that. As it boots up here, I'll get this also ready. Our charging dot to sort of connect it with it. It also has NFC inside of here because that's basically the way you're going to connect and set this up here. So let's see. As yeah, so it's booting up here. All right, it kind of lets you know what you need to do to connect it. Let's see if we just slide that in there like that. Oh, smooth and easy. All right, pretty cool. So I think what we need to do here is actually get the connection going as it's telling you to tap on it to here, the Galaxy Note. So let's see if the Galaxy Note NFC is on. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and see if we can tap the two. Oop. I should probably take this case off first before doing that. It's probably a good idea. A little bit of a rush, a little bit ahead of myself there. Let's go ahead and you can hear that there. 
All right, looks like the setup started. There we go. All right, let's I guess brings up to us a menu here. And I'm kind of doing it upside down as, a, as as you guys are seeing it. So, all right, we got to do the Galaxy Gear Manager and start Gear Manager installation. So let's go ahead and let that download and we'll go ahead and reconnect that little nice plastic case back on here. I actually do kind of like this. And what, what I want to kind of point out with the Galaxy Gear here a little bit is that it's uh, doesn't share necessarily the design language of typical Samsung's where it's a little bit, uh, let's go ahead and accept that of course. Uh, it doesn't share sort of that chrome sort of trimming and look here. It's a little bit thicker and um, doesn't have sort of that plastic you look. Obviously you don't want to necessarily have that with a watch that you're trying to make sort of more of a premier watch, but it's uh, just interesting that it doesn't exactly match that Galaxy look necessarily yet, but maybe the next iterations we'll see that here. We saw that a uh, little bit of a difference also in the Galaxy camera when they made that. The first one didn't really look like most of the Samsung line, but the second one fit more into the Galaxy line, which I think that never really made it to the US, probably because of a certain little Nokia phone, but <laughs> go ahead and clip this on here. And it's gonna continue through its installation. And this is what's gonna allow you to charge as well too. Obviously you plug, clip this on like that and you charge it there on the back. All right, you can see it's giving me a Bluetooth code here. And this is going to be compatible with other devices soon, uh, like the Galaxy S4 and I believe the Galaxy Note 10.1 and a couple other galaxies will probably be compatible with this. We've got to just got to confirm our Bluetooth connection there. You can see we'll hit that checkbox right there. Let these two pair and bond as the brother and sister that they are. I'm not sure which one's the big, just probably the big brother and this is the little sister, or maybe cousins maybe, I'm not exactly sure there. Uh, and uses license agreement. We're gonna go ahead and check these on. Hit finish, hit agree. And there we are. So it gives you looks uh, a few apps and settings that you can do with it here. And we're now into the main uh, setup here, the Galaxy Gear, all right. So, all right, let's make, let me show we have this clipped on here. So now you can see it gives you the time and it gives you the weather. And I think if we swipe up, that's where you can dial a phone call, swipe down, we swipe down again, I believe. That's where we get into where we, oh, we go right into the camera here, as you can see me in the camera, so you can see you can focus. And I think you just have to tap on it and it takes a picture, I believe. Oh, there it is. Not sure how good that picture was. You can swipe to the gallery to open it if we want to. Go ahead and swipe left here, and there it is in the gallery. You can even do a little pinch of zoom action there. It's pretty nice. Zoom back out. All right, a few options. We're gonna swipe down, swipe down again. Gesture down again. Let's see, gesture down one more time. It goes back to the camera. Let's gesture up. Swipe up again, that's the phone. I think we swiped, all right, there we go. We have contacts you can get into, call logs apps, settings, yeah, pedometer, which is probably matched up with S Health, your media playback controls. I wonder if that'll work and coincide with something like Google Play or third party ones. We'll swipe down here, go to gallery. We've seen that, voice uh, memos, S voice, notifications, and back to the clock here. We'll actually swipe all the way over back into apps so we can see some of the apps we can use here, which is, looks like we have your Archives, your camera, your dialer, your contacts. Yeah, you have a timer, today's schedule, weather. So if anything on my calendar, I could probably jump into there. Nope, no event schedule just yet. So let's swipe down. Go here, and pedometer. Just a little, it looks like a little bit of a neater layout for the, uh, the app section there. Go here in the settings. We can take a look at the clock, sound, volume, display. Check out the battery. See we have 92% battery right there now. Let's take a look at what we have here. Bluetooth, you can reset your gear, your gear info. Let's jump into there. About gear. Let's see, model number. We get the model number, the uh, serial number, open license user agreement, all that sort of fancy stuff. All right, let's go back here, let's scroll. Let's go back into settings. We can go into display. We can customize the brightness, screen uh, timeout. Font size, look like we do battery. We can show the battery percentage if we want to. Back down here, see what else we can change about this. Maybe we can change the backgrounds. Try to get back into it here. Doing this upside down, so it's a little harder here to, to do. 
let's see we go swiping down oh, swipe down swipe right there we go I'm already getting the hang of it even though I'm going upside down with it here I right, change sounds display I think you can customize I think background color there it is change to red uh, oh, I'll go back to background color black orange it's like a teal brown purple green red let's go with the orange here since it's the festive month here which i think we're actually already in orange let's actually come out of that and go into another color let's try uh if we choose black does that change anything here no nope, let's go back up one back here and go back into display go back into home background color so i think this changes it now if we go back in here there we go now we have the orange a little bit brighter a little bit crisper there actually a little livelier with the orange yes but we're in the month of october so orange is always fun so that is a look at the setup of the, with the galaxy note 3 here in the galaxy gear that you uh sort of go into my samsung apps if we went into there uh my apps we can see what apps are available on there and we can uncheck and check the ones we want available we can let's we can change the settings on which each app does we'll discover more into that as we go along here so my first impression so far with the galaxy gear is that it's interesting it's not um it's not something i'm particularly into with smart watches but it's uh it's interesting to sort of get into sort of what this is all going to be about here as i'm trying to turn it back on i probably have to hit the power button which i need to take this casing off here to do but it's going to be interesting sort of how to play around with this let's go ahead and Put this on if my big hand can fit into it here and we'll hopefully snap this on properly i don't wear watches too often so all right there we go so as our galaxy gear on paired up here with our galaxy note 3 so definitely be subscribed to our youtube page here for uh, more information about both of these devices here uh subscribe to uh i'm sorry uh, follow our rest of our uh, social networks for facebook twitter google plus let us know if you like this sort of this uh video style here trying something a little bit different and uh be sure to hit our main web page at bw1.com and always remember to like this video because it always helps us out and live your tech world in high definition thanks for watching